How y'all doing, Click Worlds fam? Eugene K. You already know. If it's your first time, you can subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up, the like button. Really appreciate it. That was the algorithm. I don't want to start by saying that everything in this video is for education and purpose and or entertainment. And some of it is alleged, some is not. Some of it is just my opinion, of course. But I already made a video concerning this situation, which also involves a video that a lady, the young lady had made. I don't know what I mean. So I put that in the description or at the end of the video. I tag it at the end of the video. I'm reading right now from the Yahoo News. It says DJ academics accused of grave at New Jersey home. Lawsuit. I mean, when we first covered this story, the lady just had said whatever had happened, he had said his part. As I said, I tied that, but there wasn't a lawsuit at that point. So this story actually says Livingston Allen, also known as Internet Personality DJ Academics, has been accused of great and defamation and enough. New lawsuit according to Essex County Court documents obtained by Kix 11 News. The victim, Fazia Abashi, spelled F A U Z I Y A, Abashi A B A S H me. So it says Fazia Abashi claimed that she was invited to Alex's home in New Jersey on July 16, 2022 where she thought she was going to be alone with him, according to the documents. But when Amashi arrived at the house, which was experiencing a power outage, she was greeted by two men whose identities were sealed in the documents. Before Amashi arrived, Allen allegedly told the two men that she was on a different type of vibes with her without her knowledge. According to the court documents, which cited a video posted on YouTube. The story suggests Alan thought she was going over to the house to engage in sexual activity. According to Ambashi's attorney, Ambashi was offered a drink but turned it down to make her own as she was done in the past. According to court documents, one of the men identified in the court documents as someone he worked for Alan, insisting that Ambashi had a drink made by them per the documents and it says per the documents because I read this over a couple of times so whenever it says that I just say uh, according to the documents okay he allegedly told her he was in charge until Alan returned when the power returned to the home the man asked Abashi if she wanted to wait for Alan in the pool or hot tub and she agreed to wait in the hot tub and the, under the assumption the man would need after getting the tub set up. When Abashi got into the hot tub, Alan's employee came out and joined her, followed by the second man he brought a bottle of alcohol. Abashi alleged the pair forced her to take shots and poured alcohol into her mouth, according to court documents. Alain's employee then threw her in the pool before he sexually assaulted her. The other man then joined a fight, according to the fourth argument. Around 4 a.m., Bashi said she woke up to Alain assaulting her, according to the documents. Later that morning, Alain allegedly took Bashi into another room in shame by surveillance video of the two men assaulting her, according to her documents. She said she asked for the full video, but I didn't hear scenes. Abashi later contacted Alan and said she was hurt during the attack. Court documents showed alleged text messages between Alan and Abashi. Abashi called the police and set up a wired phone calls and provided Abashi did questions to ask Alan the early recorded call. According to court documents, Alan informed the fountain the graphic details to Abashi. Alan went on social media on Tuesday 
and listen and a statement on the incident. And you comment beyond what I've said before that you can use them record. I have to just go by my lawyers. Again, if I tell y'all I've been criminally clear, y'all are gonna be like, well, that doesn't mean anything. I didn't say you're in a social media live stream. At this point, I will be determined in court. I am very confident. I'm excited to see how this court expletive happens. I'm excited. You know why? I didn't do nothing. I didn't add it. So that's where the report from Yahoo News ended. But before uh, thing, something came up about her being um, jumped or, a mute, or a drink being spiked, which I don't see in this report. And also, media academics had claimed that he already talked to the police. He showed them the tape which he showed her with the two guys, which he said he was asleep at the time, I think, uh, which she says he wasn't there, but he was asleep at the time when it happened and he, he noticed on the, the um, surveillance and he, he showed it to her. But in this, um, yeah, in this report, it says that she had, she had um, requested the whole video, which he denied. But it would be interesting to see how this goes because I don't know. I'm not the courts and I won't speculate, you know what I mean? I would just say that this is looking real serious and I don't know. I, I've heard on the YouTube streets that this is, uh, our academics himself claim that this is just a shakedown because it's kind of a bro to Drake and right now. They trying to, um, how would I put it? I, I heard other YouTubers was the word shakedown, but yeah, they try to shake down Drake and whoever else, they just feel like for whatever reason. So yeah, guys, just keep posted. As I said, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Because I'll definitely give y'all any update or any see what's happening in this lawsuit. Because personally, I don't have any opinion on what I think is true pertaining or according to this case. I just, I'm just in the blue, I mean, just in the dark like everybody else. We just have to wait and see. Hopefully, the courts will get things right. But um i would say one thing though in a case like this yeah it, it's not just um and i wouldn't just say in a great great case right in any case where there's physical contact and you want to prove it the first thing you would do is go to the hospital or probably a doctor to write up a report on what has happened to you to confirm and then that will be much more basis for the police or you could report to the police first and then get a report from the doctor but I would I would suggest you know what I mean getting a doctor report that would actually or even if you go to the police first after getting the doctor's report it's important to get that on the police report because that is like evidence, you know what I mean? But we know that in the court, there's, we have to have evidence to prove. So I don't know what they're gonna prove if she don't have evidence of the guy on, on her, which he claimed he didn't. He claimed this, the other guys were around. So yeah, we interested to see how this goes, okay? Subscribe or like. I see you on the next part.